the 17th of July 2010 will be the 12th anniversary of the adoption of the Rome Statute of the ICC. At the first review conference held in Kampala this year, the state's parties to the ICC reflected broadly on the development of the ICC and decided to henceforth celebrate the 17th of July as the Day of International Criminal Justice. On this occasion, I would like to talk about the significance of the work of the ICC and the system established by the Rome Statute. The adoption of the ICC statute in 1998 was a historic step. It showed the determination of the world community to put an end to impunity for genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. Only 12 years later, the Rome Statute has been ratified by no less than 111 states. The court has become a living reality, a fully functioning court with several cases before it in different stages. Furthermore, the first review conference reaffirmed the commitment of the state's parties to the, to the goals of the statute and their support for the court's work. Indeed, we have a good reason to celebrate the 17th of July as a day which signifies tremendous achievements in the field of international criminal justice. However, we should not be too satisfied because countless innocent civilians still continue to be the victims of terrible atrocities in different parts of the world. Let this day inspire us all to reach to new heights in our work. The state's parties have entrusted us at the ICC with a tremendously important mission of turning into practice the noble principles embodied in the Rome Statute. We must do our best to achieve the best possible results every day. I hope that states will celebrate this day with full recognition of the fact that international criminal justice will ultimately only be successful if the national justice systems of each state function effectively. Only then, the ICC can serve its intended role to be a court of last resort complementing national jurisdictions. I call on all states' parties to build on the momentum created in Kampala by strengthening their national justice systems and by adopting national legislations to enable effective cooperation with the court. Finally, I encourage all states that have not yet done so to ratify the Rome Statute and join the family of states parties to the ICC.